Calculating Magnification Part 2 by kscience.com. Pause here to give these two examples a go. If not, I will go through it with you. So remember, I am I over A times M, A equals I over M. Then what you do is you write I, A, and M. You can fill in what you've got. I is the image size, 92 millimeters. You can see you've got that there. Then you've got the magnification, which is times 12,000 magnification. We're trying to work out A in micrometers, but we have the image size in millimeters. So you must convert the millimeters into micrometers by timesing by a thousand. That gives you 92,000 micrometers. Now you can use your 92,000 micrometers, not the millimeters, to divide it by 12,000, which is the magnification. Now then give you the answer of the actual size of the cell in micrometers, which is 7.6 micrometers. You write I, A, and M, and you fill in your image size, which is 123 millimeters. Your magnification is 8,000. Now remember, it's going to be converted into micrometers. So you times 123 by 1,000, which gives you 123 micrometers. You can now divide that by the magnification, which is 8,000. Once you've done that, you've got the actual size. Actual size in this example is 15.37 micrometers. If you want to calculate the magnification by using image size in millimeters and actual size in micrometers, pause here. First thing you do is you write I am, I A M. Then you put the equals between the I and the A and the times between the A and the M. Then you make the triangle I over A times M. Then you make M the subject. M equals I over A. So now you write I, A and M. You write I, which is 62 millimeters. And what you've got is the actual size, which is 92 micrometers. So to calculate M, you firstly must convert one of the units. I always convert millimeters to micrometers because you simply times it by a thousand and add three zeros. So now you've got 62,000 micrometers. To calculate magnification, it's 62,000 over 92. That will give you a magnification of 674. Remember the good habits. You must divide by the same units, never by different ones. So again, IAM. You've got I, which is 102 millimeters. You've got A, which is 13 micrometers. You convert the image size into micrometers by timesing by 1000. You can now divide the image size by the actual size in the same unit of micrometers. It gives you a magnification of 7846. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.